Indy Mogul. Finally, a comic book movie you can take your grandma to. You're watching Beyond the Trailer's review of Red. They used to be the CIA's top agents. Victoria, best wet work asset in the business. What? What's that? I kill people, dear. That's right, old man. Old man? No respect. Old man, my... Red stands for Retired Extremely Dangerous, and it is indeed refreshing to see these older actors shooting them up with the best of them. Morgan Freeman is 73, Helen Mirren is 65, and I was going to say Bruce Willis at 55 was a stretch for this group until I discovered that John Malkovich is just one year older. See how important it is to take good care of yourself, kids? Now, Red is loosely based on the comic book of the same name by Warren Ellis and Cully Hamner, and produced by the recently created DC Entertainment. If Red succeeds, it will show that comic books can be a resource for more than just big tentpole movies, thus greatly increasing the value of the big comic book publishers' vast libraries, not to mention giving the smaller publishers a better shot at the Hollywood dream. However, a similar attempt to do just this, Surrogates, also starring Bruce Willis, was unsuccessful. Plus, we can add the losers, also from DC, to this failure category. So the question is, just how high concept is Helen Mirren sporting a sniper rifle? And can Willis end his box office losing streak? He better hope so, or he might just find himself forced into retirement. As for the Oscar crowd, don't worry about them. They're just slumming and loving it. Do you prefer your action stars older or younger? It doesn't matter. Uh, it doesn't matter. I don't really care. Usually younger. How about today? Today was an exception. I never really thought about it, but now after seeing that movie, younger. I loved it. It was a very entertaining film. Oh, what do you like about it? Everything. Well, I like the uh, the blend of action and comedy. It was an action adventure movie, but it was incredibly funny. The ending started to drag. Oh. I, I caught myself dozing off. The writing was not awesome, but the, it was overcome by the performances. It was an A-list. Uh, cast, yeah, yeah, uh -huh. so it kind of attracted me, but when I got in there, it was it was Bruce Willis, and he can't move like he used to. It's oh, just really? not the same. Bruce Willis is only 55 years old. Does that read a senior citizen to you? No. No. Just counts as older than your usual action hero. You could retire at 55, but I mean... That's true. He's CIA old, I guess. Yeah. Right? <laughs> well, you know, in today's society, it's, you know, people are saying 55 and up is older. Right. right? Th that's kind of counterintuitive, right? Since, like... Everyone's going to get every, there. Everybody's getting older. <laughs> Our life expectancy is older. Yeah. Social Security was modeled on something where the average life expectancy was 48. Yeah. And now it's in the 70s. So I think those, those numbers don't really match up. I looked at it like they were a bunch of old CIA agents, but not dead CIA yeah, agents, you exactly, know? Yeah, exactly, right? They were old and they did their thing. Do you think that Hollywood makes a mistake that sometimes they often make their movies with younger casts, you know, and they should maybe go to the more seasoned actors to... Uh, I think using really good actors, young or old, is the, the you know, it's always it's the way it should work. Right? Yeah. yeah. Who came off the best? What actor did the best job? Uh, well, Helen Mirren. Bruce Willis did the best job. Yeah? But Helen Mirren looked the best. She was really cool. <laughs> That's great. Beautiful and cool. Oh, oh man. <laughs> that she should do another action film like this because, yeah, I mean, you know, you expect her to, you know, do right all the Oscar winning kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I mean, she, she handled herself very well. What do you give the movie on a one to ten? Um, well, I would say nine. Ten. I would have to go with a four and a half. I would give it about a 7.5. Eight and a half. Give it an eight. An eight. Sounds like the mission is a success as audiences give red on eight. And we're out here every week covering the major releases, so be sure to subscribe so you never miss an episode. I'm Grace Randolph reporting from the Regal Ewok, and I hope you'll go beyond the trailer for these other top movies.